Arnold Amber, the director of the CWA, that's uh, Communication Workers of America, um, is it? That's correct. Uh, at SCA, the French acronym, Canada. A union that represents employees at more than 35 newspapers, news agencies, and broadcasters uh, in Canada. He was a member of the executive of the International Federation of Journalists for six years, and is now president of Canadian Journalists for Free Expression, and you've heard from uh, Arnold in previous uh, sessions as well. I would like to, um, first of all, tell you that I, I personally tell you that I enjoy this conference very much. I think any time I go to these conferences and you learn a few things, you should be happy. I think in this particular case, I learned more than a few things. I learned a lot of things. I met a lot of people that are involved in various ways in trying to get the media that this country deserves, and that was good. And so let me try to sum up, for me, the question is how to go forward. And I think it's important that we figure out how to go forward. What did we find, I think, in the two and a half days that we've been together? One of the things is that I found, as somebody who's a practitioner for many years, a journalist and now director of a union, I found there are a lot of other people doing other things, particularly in the academic world, that think like we do about a lot of the same things and are also doing work that would be helpful to us and we could also be helpful to them. So for example, yesterday at the labor, um, at the labor uh, session that we had, we were talking about our union being very interested in helping the uh, plight of freelancers in this country. After which, uh, Nicole Cohn came up to me and said, uh, you know, I'm doing my dissertation on that. And I'd really like to be able to get involved in what you're doing about freelancers. So that's the kind of cooperation and the kind of involvement together that I think we need to go forward. You know, um, in other places and in other sessions, I met people that also made, reminded me of how you work together to go forward. Um, this morning I sat in on the gender and race uh, session and during the course of that uh, discussion there was a young woman who worked for a certain free paper in the city who writing a column for Metro on feminism and uh, they're closing her down. They censored her on certain columns she wrote and they're basically going to withdraw the column. And I get the idea that all the hassle she went through to keep writing the column, she isn't terribly unhappy about being able to move on to other things. Uh, and that reminded me, and it's something we're going to have to come to grips with, the work we're taking on to get where we want to get is not easy. This is, requires some strength. It requires standing up to people who don't agree with you. It means standing up to the established uh, powers, whether they be just in the media or in the country. And it reminded me of the last session that we sat in. I'm sitting up there beside Nick Fillmore. Nick Fillmore, 30 years or whatever ago, uh, was running the, fo the fourth estate, fifth estate, fourth estate, fourth estate in Halifax, a alternative newspaper. And I was running something called the Toronto Citizen in Midtown Toronto. And I met him at a conference, not like this, one organized by the government in Ottawa, of all the people that were involved in alternate press. And it reminded me, when we were listening, they're doing an archive about all this, it reminded me about what somebody said here on this panel. I think, I think it was Kim, talked about what they're doing where she is and how exciting it is. And all those long, long hours working with myself as a volunteer and other volunteers putting out the Toronto Citizen were difficult, but they were also exciting. And that speaks to what Steve was saying about this work doesn't have to be drudgery 
and is uphill, you fight, but the fight is worthwhile, and therefore the fight can also be exhilarating and rewarding in its own right as it gets done. I thank very much Becky for putting up that diagram, because the diagram, I think, outlines to us that we have a few choices here. And some of the choices start right here today. This conference wasn't set up by an organization. Because if it were set up by an organization, we would know that three weeks from today, we are going to, some of us are going to come together, have read through the papers, and to begin a process of taking what we've learned over these two and a half days and putting it into some sort of effect. We may be effective, or we may not be effective. But one thing we would know is that there's a follow-up to this conference. My views about making this conference really worthwhile is twofold. The first is, let us not lose some of the information and wisdom that was shared at this conference. No one could have been at all the sessions because they were running three and four at the same time. What was said at other places, the key points, I would love to know. There were also, particularly from the academic side, a lot of actual papers written. Those of us that work in the other levels of the media did not write papers. We do what I'm doing now, is talking about points. But we should be able to capture some of this. And I hope, as somebody who's been here, that somewhere along the line, there was some forethought given to it so that we will get some idea uh, and get, the, get, get copies of the papers. That's number one. But number two is the more important, is we have to figure out how to move this forward. I agree with everything that's been said by the various folks that appeared before me on this particular path. Yes, having some values and some ideas of how to make this movement work is really, really good. The other ideas of how people right now can start working to share content and develop content it is also good. The last, another thing that is extremely important you only change society, I think, when you have a movement rather than an organization. Organizations and institutions are there basically to maintain and alter slightly to meet the opposition. We have to use the word movement. And that is why maybe at this particular time, there is no blueprint or any print of how we move forward. So we are left on our own here to decide What's the next stage? When I was outside, I don't know if it was Kim or someone else, said, wouldn't it be great if we meet next year again? And I think it would be great if we meet again next year. But I think it would be even greater if some of us figured out how to move the movement forward in that year. What should we be doing two months from now? There are various groups here that we could, we could align ourselves with. We could, we could be involved with, you know, there's open media, there's other, there's others. But at the same time, this was unique because this conference drew people that are in very many different, very many different parts of the, if I may use a union, using the word, that are involved in many different parts of the struggle. And you know what? In my view, this is what's needed. I can tell you from my part, my, uh, I and people like Louise and others in our union will happily participate in trying to move this forward. This is about, if you believe in the issue that media, journalism is what was said before me. If you really believe it's part of the democratic process and it serves the people of the country, we should be ready to make the commitment to do the work that at least makes all attempts possible to make this movement end up as being very successful.